This video will show you how to restore a database and run a simple query using Workbench. To be able to replicate the exercises in this video, you first need to download a database backup file. Check the documentation that comes with this video or the notes on the page where you watch this video for the current URL where you can access the backup file. Once you access the website, right click on the SQL file and save it on your hard drive. Before you start Workbench, make sure that your MySQL server is running. You can check that through the Notifier application. Right click on the Notifier icon and make sure that you see the statement MySQL running. That means your MySQL server is running. You can also use the XAMPP control panel to check whether the MySQL server is running. If the MySQL server name is highlighted in green, that means your MySQL server is running. You can now start Workbench. Click on the localhost connection. This is the screen you will see. Here, click on the data import restore link. Then click on the import from self-contained file radio button and browse for the file that you just downloaded. Open the file, click start import and wait for Workbench to restore the database. If the restore operation was successful, this is the message you will see. Now click on the schemas tab and visually check that the database is indeed on the server. Click on the query1 tab, type use followed by the name of the database. Click the execute icon that will select the database for use. Now type select star from clerks. Click on the execute icon. You have just run your first query on Workbench.